Good morning vlog. It's currently 4.30 a.m. and me and Brendan are going to spend 24 hours in LA. Yo, let's go with this. It is 5.31 a.m. Right now we're on the road. I'm watching Stu. Delos is in the driver's seat. She got her Starbucks. Starbies! I'm just chilling. We're just going to LA. Gonna watch Ray Ray play some football versus uh, Utah. And uh, yeah, just watching Stu because it's 5.30. I don't know why he's on, but... We will see, we will see what today has in store. Okay, it's currently 9.30, we're at the Grapevine, our Grapevine shop. Let me tell you guys something. Delos? It's chalk. She has never tried an egg McGriddle. Before we do anything though, she's gonna take a bite of this McGriddle. I don't order, I don't go to McDonald's for breakfast. Which is crazy because it has the best breakfast. So I was very nervous to order and I didn't know what to order so that's why I is got this oatmeal. A, a sausage McGriddle or sausage egg McGriddle? I don't know. Did they not I said, give an egg? I said sausage egg McGriddle. They didn't give an egg. Did I order it wrong? I don't think they gave, I think they just didn't give an egg. Is it? Oh, sausage McGriddle. Okay, just bought it. See, I don't know how to order. You fucked up my order. I don't go to McDonald's for breakfast. Just take a bite. And then the other one is just an egg McMuffin watch. It's okay. It's just only egg in there. No, it's not. Oh, is it pancakes? Yeah, just bite it. Oh, this is when they say, order the sausage McGriddle without the sausage. It's cheaper Weirdos. than hotcakes. They're weird. They're just cheap. It's just a TikTok I saw. And you missed the egg. There's no fucking egg. <laughs> but it's amazing. Because I ordered it wrong. Oh my god, it's so good. I tried to be helpful and go down and, you know, put in the order right away. But I didn't say sausage with egg McMuffin, so it's okay. You just Good said, mama. get me a McMuffin and get me a McGriddle and two, and two hash browns. Mm -hmm. I didn't specify. Well... If only I was experienced with McDonald's breakfast, I would have known. It's okay. Mmm. Who gets oatmeal at McDonald's breakfast? Benjamin, I don't know what they have here. Well, do <laughs> that was weird. I thought it was oatmeal, but okay, I know what oatmeal is. <laughs> it's like no. I haven't lived my life or something. Is there another topping for this oatmeal or? Raisins. There's no syrup? Syrup on oatmeal. Like, like agave or honey. Do you think we're, where, where are we at? We're at McDonald's. Nobody orders oatmeal and gets agave. <laughs> Go to Starbucks. Why do you never flip it? Cause we're in LA now. <laughs> I just woke back up and uh, we're in LA now and I couldn't go 20, 28 minutes. I was exhausted. So I had her drive. Gus's is world famous chicken. Door dashes. Jessica says hi. Um, they have I just woke up and I'm ready. I just woke up and I think I'm ready. Okay, so that nap was really rejuvenating. We are screaming our heads off right now. With that, here, just let me know how much I'll, I'll send you money. Usually, I like. Uh, Go Beavs! Oh my god. Go Beavs! I will be going to the university. Of Oregon State and bringing my talents to what the fuck is that boring ass with Corvallis? <laughs> <laughs> the grind doesn't stop. 
Shout out to Lil Luke, your bot. He's a bot. He's a bot. I'm hoping that he'll win, but <laughs> just kidding. It's not looking good. Oh, OTD. We got brand new jacket, Aritzia shirt, Abercrombie jeans, and then my Jordans. Dragon Ball Z. Wow. We have a Ritzia sweater, a Levi's. What is this, a jean jacket? Mm hmm. We have an Oregon beaver hat. Don't forget your turtleneck. And then we have the turtleneck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the Uniqlo joggers or pants. I don't know what they're called. And we have these little off whites. RIP Virgil Abloh, huh? Rest in peace. We're gonna get there at four. Um, we're like half an hour behind, but it's okay. So we're gonna enjoy the game and we're gonna explore the stadium during halftime. Yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> It's crazy. Also gave me clean, clean uh, cleats, so I'm not tripping. Here's Delos over here, and uh, we're right next to the city. We're right next to that city. The Staples Center is near us, and they are changing the name to Crypto. What is it? Crypto.com. They're really going all in in this, you know, crypto world that we might live Whoa, in. Oh, fun fact. Fun fact. Someone tried to buy crypto on my debit card. Someone tried to scam. Three thousand dollars. Someone tried to use credit card fraud. Don't so do that. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful or try to scam somebody. My name is Brendan. Yeah, I like to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna get some beef. What? <laughs> Um, we 
got our knee already. And Brendan's at the bathroom. So yeah. <laughs> This is the middle of our second round and it is so good. It's amazing. It's amazing. So good. Shibuya. Uh, a, downtown LA. Five out of five. The food. A1. A1. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. We don't even know which meat is what, but we like all of them, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, vlog? It is Saturday. Sunday. It's Sunday. Well, I got my days wrong. Um, we got back yesterday, and uh, we went to Shibuya. It was really good. Then we went to go get boba at uh, It's Boba Time, kind of like your tapioca, Della said. And then after that, we got locked out of the apartment for about 20 minutes. Less, probably like 10 minutes, honestly. I started getting irritated because I was tired, and I was like, wow. Leave the movie theater. Leave the movie theater. Just extra. Why? Because we're going to wait outside for the whole fucking time. No, we can walk outside. I don't want to be in the car. I was just, you know, delusional. Then we got inside, took a shower. Since we drove all yesterday, we kind of just fell asleep, and then, uh, now we're just kind of packed up. Dallas wants to go to a store, so probably gonna go visit the store. Uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast tacos. Shout out to Dello. It was a good, good one day trip, huh? Huh? <laughs> she looked <laughs> crazy. Talk about the stadium. Oh, the stadium. Well, for one, if you're ever going to go to SoFi Stadium for a game, don't get sweet level uh, get tickets field. on the field. Field, cabanas. Yeah, the cabanas were, it was nice seeing Ray Ray. If you want to get in, if you want to get close to the players, then for sure they uh, take take that route. If you're, in, if you're watching an NFL game, they're definitely not going to turn around and, you know, give you attention because the NFL is a little different. There's like a lot more people and a lot more riding on it. But he was able to turn around and uh, pick me out of the, Cabana, because I mean we were right behind them, and that that was one amazing thing. So if you're behind there and Ezekiel Elliott's on the fucking on the way bench, and you're trying to say Zeke, 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 he's he's not gonna care. Very only turn around because I'm his boy, but it's it's really like on the bottom, and the best part about it is the Oculus. To be yeah. honest, you don't get to see the field. If you're gonna watch the game from field level Cabana, you're literally gonna be looking up at the Oculus the whole game. Because all the players and all the water tents and all that, it's blocking your view. Yeah. So you're literally going to be field level, but you're going to be looking up at the Oculus. You basically just get the sideline experience if you're not, if you don't want to watch the game. If you're on the bench. <laughs> if you're sitting on the bench and you're sitting behind all the players, then yeah, that's the, that's the view you get. But, I mean, it was cool. There was, uh, the one good thing is comfortability that we were talking about. That's one thing. For VIP people. But also the suite, it's technically seats 20 people, mm -hmm. but there's only 10 bar stools. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get there early enough, you know, you're not going to be out. Getting a seat. Yeah. That's why most of the time there's a, there's a few people where we were standing next to the bar and that was directly behind the bench. Uh, the cheerleaders were on the left. There was media people walking around. That's the one cool thing, I guess. You get to see media people. You get to see all the inner workings. Like, if you're interested in all that. But, yeah, it was a good trip. It was a great experience at yeah. SoFi. I got to get uh, Ray Ray's cleats. I'm going to go give him one of his other pairs of cleats that he gave me. He said he he needs them to practice, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I was trying to grab that motherfucker's jersey. SoFi <laughs> is just so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm glad we got to go and... And experience that. And experience there was, watch a game in there. The way they made it was so freaking crazy. Like, it's inside, outside. I don't understand. It's just nice. It's just really nice. It was like, there's like a cabana on top. Or not a cabana. There's like a canopy on top that catches everything. And then, like, it, it, it had like windows, like tinted windows most likely. So that when it's sunny outside, it, it doesn't super, super Deep come through down. the light. 
or come through the, uh, yeah, be down through the windows. It was nice. The lighting is perfect. Like the stadium lighting, oh my god! Like it was, it felt like you're in a movie, huh? When you're on the bottom, mm -hmm. when you look up, like you could barely see anybody in the stands. Like the lighting was just perfect. But uh, yeah, it was fun. We were on the big screen. Oh, we were on the big screen. I was, we were yelling third down. It's third down. That we did, we yelled that for like a good like minute. Yeah. The guy was like, say it, say it, say it. He was like, come on, be excited. Yeah, and then we were like, and I was like it's just us two, third down. It was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. If you could go. We got the full experience. If you could go to SoFi, go. Yeah. Because it's really nice. It's a really nice stadium. We got the full experience because we got to talk to a player, Ray Ray. We got to. Uh, go to the suite. Go to the suite. We got to drink. We got to eat. And then we got to. Get on the big screen, one thing that not everybody does. <laughs> JR and Arthur have arrived. <laughs> and Sade! And Sade! Trinity. This is um. the bacon, sausage, and egg. And potato. I think this one's mm -hmm. I forget which one. I think They're this really one's good. Okay, guess who's coming yeah. home? Sade. Everybody? No, Comment no, down below. No, no. Brendan, let's get a puppy. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below. She likes you. Thumbs up this video she if you think me and Brendan should get a puppy. No. no. <laughs> uh, OTD. I'm wearing my sweats again. And my Lululemon jacket. Because I didn't expect to go shopping today. So I'm just, I didn't really bring an outfit. But this is cute, cute and comfy, with my Telfie. We're going to the Glossier store while we have our football Sunday. Fit check, go. Um, I have Jacqueline's hat, a GB, GB jacket, just a plain shirt, Carhartt, some Burks, and a special appearance by Oof. Support the locals. Oof. Oh my god, wait, it's not focusing. Oof. Um, so we are on the way home with a special guest. <gasps> she's already sleeping. She's a, she, I think she's sad that she, her mom. We took she's her chilling, from though. her mother. But it's two o'clock. We are officially departing LA. I went out with my sister. We went around. Um, we went around to the Glossier store, the new one on Melrose, and then we went to the Open Home Group because um, I'm obsessed with selling Sunset. And then we went to um, this little Korean um, clothing boutique, which was really, which was really cool. For what me, for me today, all I did was uh, I sat on her couch and just watched football while Sade was on my lap. Uh, I'm just watching fantasy football because it's playoff time, and I'm just hoping that my teams can make it through today. But we will see. I was just chilling the whole time. Uh, Sade was, she was good. I found out that if you want a puppy to stop nibbling you, you just gotta cry. So that's what I did. <laughs> but she had a great time. Such a fun trip. Love LA. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thanks for watching. We're ending the vlog here. Say bye, Shade. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Brendel's vlogs is coming back slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, say bye, Shade.